Tesla recently introduced its latest innovation, the Cybercab, a fully autonomous vehicle without a driver, steering wheel, or pedals. The hype around this self-driving taxi is massive, with Elon Musk claiming it will revolutionize the way we travel and cost under $30,000. But as with many Tesla promises, there's a lot more beneath the surface than meets the eye. In today's video, we're diving into the 10 things Tesla will never tell you about the new Cybercab, facts that could change how you view this futuristic vehicle. Let's get right into it. Number 1. Why $30,000 is just a dream Tesla's claim that the Cybercab will cost under $30,000 has certainly caught a lot of attention, but it's important to look at Tesla's track record when it comes to pricing promises. When the Model 3 was launched, it was marketed as the electric car for the masses, with a promised price tag of $35,000. In reality, the Model 3 has never been available at that price without significant federal incentives or cost-saving configurations that removed key features. The $30,000 Cybercab price may sound appealing, but there are likely hidden costs Tesla won't mention up front. For instance, the full self-driving SFD software could add several thousand dollars to the total cost. Currently, Tesla charges upwards of $15,000 for FSD, and it's unlikely that the Cybercab will be any different. Add this to the potential costs for upgrades and customization, and that $30,000 price point quickly becomes a distant memory. Even if Tesla manages to offer a base price near its target, expect higher final costs when you factor in these extras. Number 2. Not fully ready yet. Tesla has long hyped its autonomous driving technology with promises of fully unsupervised driving just around the corner. Musk claims that the Cybercab will be ready for full autonomy by the time it launches in 2026. However, if we examine the current state of Tesla's full self-driving SFD software, it's clear that autonomous driving still has a long way to go. Currently, Tesla's FSD requires constant human oversight. Although the system can handle certain driving tasks, such as changing lanes or navigating highways, it is not capable of operating completely on its own. Even more concerning, FSD has faced multiple regulatory and safety challenges due to accidents involving Tesla vehicles. There are legal barriers that Tesla must overcome, especially in key markets like California and Texas, before fully autonomous taxis can become a reality. Competitors like Waymo and Cruise have demonstrated more reliable autonomous driving capabilities using a combination of sensors like LiDAR and radar, but Tesla's technology remains limited by its reliance on cameras. Number 3. A Safety Gamble Unlike its competitors, Tesla relies solely on cameras for its self-driving technology avoiding the use of LiDAR and radar sensors. This decision is partly driven by the desire to keep costs down, but it comes with significant risks. By only using cameras, the cybercar might face limitations in terms of safety and accuracy when navigating complex environments like busy urban streets or when weather conditions reduce visibility. LiDAR and radar provide depth perception and can detect objects in ways that cameras alone cannot, which is why many other autonomous vehicle developers still use these technologies. Without the redundancy of additional sensors, Tesla's camera-only approach may struggle to achieve the same level of reliability, especially in unpredictable scenarios like adverse weather or poorly marked roads. While Tesla boasts about the affordability of this approach, it raises concerns about the overall safety and performance of the Cybercab. Number 4. Why 2026 Might Be Optimistic Elon Musk is known for setting ambitious deadlines, and he's also known for missing them. Tesla has a long history of production delays, from the Cybertruck to the Roadster, both of which are still delayed years after their initial announcements. The Cybercab, with its planned production start in 2026, may face the same fate. One of the main challenges for Tesla is scaling up production to meet demand. Building a fleet of autonomous taxis isn't just about the vehicles themselves. It's about creating the infrastructure to support them, including charging stations, wireless charging capabilities, and software to manage a fleet of self-driving cars. Tesla's ambitious timeline also has to account for potential supply chain issues, especially with the ongoing semiconductor shortages and other global disruptions. If history is any indicator, 2026 might be more of a hopeful estimate than a concrete reality. Number 5. Wireless Charging Tesla has hinted that the Cybercab will feature inductive wireless charging, a technology that allows vehicles to charge without needing to be plugged in. This sounds like a game-changer for convenience, especially for a fleet of autonomous taxis that will need to recharge frequently throughout the day. 
However, as with many Tesla innovations, there's a lack of concrete details and no clear timeline for when this technology will be ready. Wireless charging has been discussed in the industry for years, but so far it hasn't widely been adopted due to the high costs of implementation and efficiency issues. Additionally, the infrastructure required to support wireless charging on a large scale would be a monumental task. If Tesla plans to implement this technology with the CyberCab, it'll need to overcome significant technical and logistical hurdles before it can become a reality. For now, inductive charging remains more of a concept than a functional feature. Number 6. Regulatory Hurdles While Tesla may have bold plans for its CyberCab, what they won't tell you is how difficult it'll be to get regulatory approval for fully autonomous vehicles. Despite the advances in full self-driving technology, governments around the world are cautious about letting completely driverless vehicles roam public roads without human oversight. In many regions, self-driving cars are still required to have a driver behind the wheel for safety reasons, and this could delay the widespread adoption of the CyberCab. Even in markets where Tesla is pushing for regulatory approval, such as California and Texas, the process could take years. There are concerns about how well autonomous vehicles will handle real-world situations, especially when it comes to avoiding accidents. Until these concerns are addressed, it's unlikely that Tesla will be able to roll out a fully autonomous fleet as quickly as they claim. On top of this, Tesla faces competition from companies like Waymo and Cruise, which have already begun offering limited robo-taxi services in certain cities. These companies have invested heavily in gaining regulatory approval and are currently ahead of Tesla in terms of legal compliance for fully autonomous vehicles. Tesla has a long way to go before the CyberCab can meet the necessary regulatory requirements to operate freely on public roads. Number 7. Job Losses and Societal Impact One of the aspects Tesla isn't talking about is how the CyberCab and similar autonomous vehicles could have a huge impact on jobs. With the rise of self-driving cars, millions of people who work as taxi drivers, delivery drivers, and even truckers could see their jobs replaced by autonomous technology. Tesla's vision of an autonomous future could reshape the workforce, and not necessarily in a good way. While new jobs will likely emerge in fields like fleet management and autonomous vehicle maintenance, it's unclear whether these roles will offset the jobs lost in traditional driving sectors. This shift could lead to widespread unemployment in industries that currently rely on human drivers. Tesla tends to focus on the convenience and safety benefits of autonomous vehicles, but the potential societal downsides are significant. It's a reality that needs to be a part of the conversation, even though it's something the company might prefer to downplay. Number 8. Infrastructure Challenges Another thing Tesla isn't openly discussing is the massive infrastructure overhaul required to fully support an autonomous fleet of cybercabs. Building self-driving cars is only one piece of the puzzle. To make them functional on a large scale, cities and transportation networks will need to adapt. This includes creating more charging stations, potentially integrating Tesla's wireless charging technology into public infrastructure, and ensuring that roads are equipped to handle autonomous vehicles. Moreover, Tesla's CyberCab will rely heavily on real-time data and connectivity, meaning cities will need to invest in smarter transportation networks, including sensors, traffic management systems, and robust 5G networks. These changes will take time and massive investment, both from governments and private companies. While Tesla talks about a futuristic vision of driverless taxis roaming the streets, the reality of building the infrastructure to support these vehicles will be a monumental challenge. Number 9. Full Self-Driving Lawsuits and Controversies Tesla may tout its full self-driving technology as the future of autonomous vehicles, but what the company isn't highlighting are the numerous lawsuits and controversies surrounding the safety of this system. Several accidents involving Tesla's autopilot and FSD have led to legal disputes, some even resulting in fatalities. This raises concerns about the overall safety and reliability of Tesla's autonomous driving software. While Musk continues to assure consumers that FSD will soon be fully autonomous, these legal and safety issues could delay the CyberCab's development. Moreover, the company's decision to bypass LiDAR and radar in favor of a camera-only approach could leave the CyberCab vulnerable in complex driving scenarios, further fueling the controversy surrounding Tesla's autonomous driving systems. Until these safety concerns are addressed, it's difficult to see how Tesla will overcome the legal barriers to deploying its CyberCab on a large scale. Number 10. Is the CyberCab truly green? Tesla has long marketed itself as a champion of sustainability, but what they won't tell you is that the impact of building and maintaining an autonomous vehicle fleet is more complicated than it seems. 
While electric vehicles like the Cybercab are cleaner than traditional gasoline-powered cars, the production of batteries and other components requires significant energy and resources. Mining for lithium, cobalt, and other materials used in electric vehicle batteries has its own environmental downsides. Moreover, building the infrastructure needed to support a fleet of cyber cabs, such as charging stations and new data networks, will require substantial energy consumption, potentially offsetting some of the environmental benefits of electric cars. Tesla positions itself as a leader in green technology, but the full environmental impact of its cyber cab fleet is far from clear. It's important to consider the broader sustainability challenges, even as the company pushes forward with its vision of an autonomous future. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.